Welcome back everybody. At this point, we're a few weeks removed from the holiday season. You may have gotten a new pair of AirPods Pro. You may have gotten a replacement pair of AirPods Pro, or you may have gotten your first pair of AirPods Pro. And in that case to all of you, congratulations. And I hope that you're enjoying them. Many of you may have noticed, or a minority of you may have noticed, I certainly have noticed, is the way that the AirPods fit. Now with the AirPods Pro, they have a stem built into them and that's more of the microphone stock, but it also has some functionality in there. You squeeze the tip, you can play and pause, you can skip ahead, go backward and things like that. Um, but what that does is it kind of restricts how, how far the AirPods Pro can go in the ear canal. Um, and for some of you, or for me particularly, I'll speak on my behalf, the AirPods Pro kind of become a little bit loose in my ear canal, especially as I'm using them more, your ear starts to sweat. And so they don't necessarily have that secure fit. Even though I do the ear tip test in the settings app, it passes, it's all green, it's all good. I still have a hard time of keeping the AirPods Pro in my ear for a long period of time. And you know, to compare that to other headphones I've had, um, the WF-1000XM3s, these were some of the first wireless noise canceling earbuds on the market. These are fantastic headphones. Um, again, these came with two sets of actual ear tips, foam and silicone. And the whole point was these should give you the ability to find the exact right fit that you need. In terms of sound, they sounded fantastic. I went with the foam tips and it created that nice secure fit. And with foam tips especially, they also create a lot of sound isolation. So it blocks out all the you know outside noises and with noise cancellation, it just kind of amplifies that effect. The AirPods Pro came out after these and immediately I noticed that they don't necessarily fit great in the ears. Some of the earlier solutions was people putting memory foam in the ring of the silicone tips. It wasn't a great fit. It also made the ear tips a little bit too big so they wouldn't fit in the AirPods Pro case. But that led me to continue looking for different earbuds uh, or earbuds that kind of fit my specific purpose. So that brought me to the Pixel Buds Pro. The Pixel Buds Pro, and obviously the successor to the Pixel Buds uh, A series, I believe they are, um, those necessarily didn't fit in the ear very well. They had a little ear hook to keep them secure. But the Pixel Buds Pro kind of improves in every way. Uh, also includes noise cancellation and a transparency mode. So these specifically fit in my ear incredibly well. So well that they were actually hard to get out of my ear. Um, in terms of sound, they were a little bit um, favoring on the low end, so they were a little bit muddy in terms of the bass response, but in, you know, in general, they sounded good enough. They um, weren't the best pair of headphones, but they were very, very good, um, and I had no problem using them. They also come with spatial audio, just like AirPods Pro, and work very well. They're integrated really well with uh, the Android ecosystem. So I wondered, obviously, if I have foam tips, they worked really well on my Sonys, these have silicone tips, the Pixel Buds Pro. So it can't be silicone versus foam. What is it? And obviously it can, again, it comes back to that stem on the AirPods Pro, but what can I do if I can actually have the best of both worlds? So can I replace my silicone tips? Now, if you search on Amazon, silicone replacement tips for AirPods Pro, it'll come, with, come up with a lot of listings with different brands creating different uh, memory foam tips. A lot of feedback for each of those products. A lot of the feedback is very mixed. Some of it talking about, you know, the foam tips wearing out really quickly. Um, some of them are just not very effective. And one name that pops up though, in a lot of these listings, um, and kind of in terms of uh, an exchange with quality, is ADV. So with ADV, when I did a little bit of research, I found out that they specialize in a lot of audio equipment and custom fit audio equipment. So when I looked in the reviews, the reviews were pretty positive. You know, one reviews or one particular theme in all those reviews were just how the memory foam tends to wear out pretty quickly. So when I looked on the ADV website, they have obviously different color options and sizes. They have a variety pack of small, medium, and large tips. But knowing that my ear tips are probably going to be needing large tips, uh, I just specifically went with three pairs of large. And I got them in. I was pretty excited to actually start using them, but for those of you who haven't actually replaced your ear tips on your Air, uh, AirPods Pro, it's a very simple process. You kind of just flip the silicone uh, tips around and then you pull them off and listen for that pop.
and that tells you that they're off, you know, and I think kudos to Apple for creating a pretty easy, simple way to replace your uh, ear tips on your AirPods Pro. Now, getting them on, again, is pretty simple. Um, when you squeeze the tips, you can actually see your fingerprints kind of pressing into them. Memory foam has a tendency to do that. Uh, but either way, you go ahead and pop the tip on. It doesn't necessarily pop or click, but that's pretty much it right there. And getting them in the ear, I highly recommend squeezing the tip because again, it squeezes and pushes out all the air. And then once they get in your ear canal, they're gonna fill up with air and create that seal that you're looking for um, and that sound isolation. So immediately, I wanted to test them and see how these work. I threw them in the ear and I tried them with doing some housework. And obviously anyone doing housework, you're gonna work up a sweat. You're gonna be moving around a lot. Um, and that's really gonna test the ear tips. And when I did that, unfortunately they failed almost immediately um, on the very basic task of sound isolation. Um, there was a lot of sound leaking into the headphones, so it wasn't creating that sound uh, isolation that I was looking for that the silicone tips create, which is also telling me why Apple didn't include foam tips to begin with. But they were falling out of my ear. I can hear everything going on around me, even with transparency mode off and the noise cancellation mode on. So, you know, after about two days, I kind of got frustrated. I just couldn't do it. I went right back to the silicone tips that Apple ships with their AirPods and just figured, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to have to kind of deal with it and just figure out a workaround. And the workaround is once I realize that they're starting to dislodge out of my ear canal, just, you know, take a napkin, dry off my ears or whatever the case may be. Um, as gross as it sounds, it's just really the only solution for me. Um, I would love to know what everybody else's experiences have been with foam tips. If you found foam tips that really work or have foam tips that kind of do the job of sound isolation and keeping that sound quality of the AirPods Pro in there. Now, a word of caution uh, to anyone looking to buy the foam ear tips from ADV. Again, my experiences were not great, but they do come with a variety pack, small, medium, large. So if you do or you are interested or are curious um, ADV seems to be a pretty legit place. I got mine, I ordered mine and got mine in a few days, so they came in pretty quickly. Um, packaging was, you know, it was passable, not fantastic. Um, but you can order them at your own risk. Keep in mind that if you order the foam tips for the AirPods Pro, they are not returnable once you open them. So once you open them, you can't return them. Um, and that's kind of what the return policy is from ADV on their site. But again, um, Proceed at your own risk. These were not necessarily a good experience for me, but it may be a little bit different for other people. I'd love to hear what your experiences were. At $20, they're not exactly cheap, but they're not exactly a bank-breaking uh, purchase. They are kind of, in a way, worth the risk. That's why I took the risk. Um, I just wanted to see what these were all about, if it actually worked, and was it a similar experience to my Sony wireless earbuds? And the long and short of it was no, that they weren't. And it was a lesson I learned. It was kind of a waste of $20, especially with ADV's return policy on foam ear tips specifically. They're specifically called out in the return policy. But again, it's a risk um, when you're going with something that's kind of unproven. You can read the reviews and all that fun stuff. But in reality, when everyone has different size ear canals and different shaped ears, I've seen people wear AirPods sticking out of their ears. I've seen them upside down. So obviously everyone has different shaped ears. Um, ear canals, your mileage will literally vary um, in this case. So again, proceed with your own, proceed with caution. I would try out the variety pack if you're not sure what your ear size, ear sizes are. I don't think these are going to pass the ear tip tests on the Apple settings app. You can try it out. I didn't try it out just because I knew they weren't fitting very well. They were letting sound in from all the outside. So again, um, if this is something that you're interested in, ADV has their site. Amazon has a bunch of listings listing all of the foam tips. So you can go ahead and look at the reviews. I'd highly recommend looking at the reviews and seeing what other people's issues were before proceeding with that purchase. But if there's anything you want to know about these ear tips, leave a comment. If there's something I missed, leave a comment. 
If you liked this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. But if you really, really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and you have a good day.